Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 7th of February, Wednesday of the week of Epiphany 5. Martin Luther, 1483-1546. From these words of St. Paul in Romans 12, we learn that we do not offer Christ as a sacrifice, but that Christ offers us. And in this way, it is permissible, yes, profitable, to call the Mass a sacrifice, not on its own account, but because we offer ourselves as a sacrifice along with Christ. That is, we lay ourselves on Christ by a firm faith in his testimony and appear before God with our prayer, praise, and sacrifice only through him and through his mediation. We do not doubt that he is our priest and minister in heaven before God. Such faith, forsooth, brings it to pass that Christ takes up our cause, presents us our prayer and praise, and also offers himself for us in heaven. If the Mass were so understood and therefore called a sacrifice, it would be well, not that we offer the sacrament, <clears throat> but that by our praise, prayer, and sacrifice, we move him and give him occasion to offer himself for us in heaven and ourselves with him. As though I were to say, I brought a king's son to his father as an offering, when indeed I had done no more than induce that son to present my need and petition to the king and made the son my mediator. And what is the opening prayer listed for this day? Oh, and it's glorious. Keep us, O oh Lord, from presuming lightly to preach or lightly to hear thy word, so upholding us and opposing us that in all our weakness thy strength may be made perfect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.